2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The city of Charlotte, North Carolina is the setting for our broadcast tonight. And isn't the view magnificent? Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Gordon. David, he is the total package. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then there's John Morant. Then there's Dylan Brooks. And it's Bain in at the shooting guard position. And for Charlotte, up to the forward spots, it's Hayward and Bridges. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. And it's Plumley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And the kind of game fans love to watch, Greg. Two offensive teams going head-to-head. -head. And the rules today favor offense. And that's why league-wise scoring continues to rise. Morant with it, now guarded by Ball. Morant kicks to Brooks. Pass to Jackson. Here's Morant, open and close and nails it. And it just seems like Morant is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. Back to ball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. That's his first foul. Bottom in a play so far here in the first. Bridges shot. Good. No hesitation from Bridges there. He knows exactly when he should look to shoot it off the catch. Morant against Ball. Payton for three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the trip. Here's Ball. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, he's an incredible ball handler at 6'7". Mello can get space for his shot practically any time he wants to. And one thing about LaMelo, Clark, you can't ignore the size he has at his position. You know, he's 6'7", Kevin, so that's big for a point guard and it allows him to see over defenses, and I also think it helps him as a rebounder. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, I think this is the start they want to come out and put some points up early. Three or four so far. This is it to Jackson. Here's Bain. Gets Morant in the corner. An easy two points on the layup. And it's six points for John Morant. The contact can't trip Morant up. He just glides past it and into his shot. Morant against Ball. And the pass to Rozier. Plumley with it. Shot clock at six. Slam home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one's on Morant. Rozier showing you nice feel for recognizing that one of his guys was wide open and got him the ball. You know, Greg, sometimes it's just hard to quantify defense, but some new age metrics really value Mason Plumley. And there's a stat called defensive box plus minus that measures how good your team is with you on the floor. And year in, year out, Mason Plumley is top 20 in the league, proving his overall effect on the game on the defensive end. Knocked loose. Plumley, the pass to Rogier. Hayward looking around. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Charlotte making a switch here. Washington's checked in. And Memphis also making a switch. Anderson, he's checked in for Adams. Shot clock at five. Hayward can hit. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Here's Anderson. It's blocked. Boy, a really good shot blocker for a wing. Bridges elevates quickly and has an excellent sense of timing. Pass to Bain. Second shot opportunity. It's rebounded by Charlotte. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. 
Grizzlies have gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Bangs home the trifecta. Moran. Moran's got 11 points. Continuing to gain trust in that three-point shot. Each trade that Ja makes builds his confidence. Ball kicks to Washington. And the whistle blows. Ja it's going to be on Ja Moran. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. Here's what Charlotte's going with right now. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Bridges. Kelly Oubre comes in for Gordon Hayward. And Martin subbed in for Ball. Memphis also making some changes. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Jackson. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Bain. And Tyus Jones John subbed in for John Morant. Conchar's checked in for Brooks. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Trailing by four. 136 left in the first. Here's Melton. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling. Off to a very good start offensively as a result. Ogier the pass to Harrell. Oubre with it. Guarded now by Clark. Back to Harrell. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. You know, when they try to get Harold looks at the offensive end, it's usually foul line down, and for good reason. He's effective down there. Fires for three. Melton, no good. Hornets trail by four. Now, here's Rogier. Pass to Oubre. Now, here's Harold. Oubre outside. Lock at six. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Eight away, and the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Daniels is checked in for the Hornets. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Over to the left wing. To the paint. Here's Anderson. Yes, that goes in. Anderson. And guys, we talk all the time Brandon about Clark. making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Passes to Washington. And another three for Charlotte. And immediately looking for the open man when the double team comes to him. And there's the pass to Concha. Back to Jones. And the three off target. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back right after this. And one of the better young two-way big men in the... Uh, probably be more of a backline help. Now with his 7-4 wingspan, Jackson has all the tools to be an elite rim protector. But advanced understanding of positioning. His father was an NBA player, so he's been taught the game from a young age. John and close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Yeah, also something I like out of them so far, they're throwing their bodies around in the paint, and, and the physicality is taking its toll. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So the Grizzlies five right now. Jones is out there with the Anthony Melton. Then it's Brandon Clark. Then it's Williams. And it's Conchar in at the small forward. Plumlee is checked in for P.J. Washington. The Grizzlies also making a change. Adams checked in. Melton, no good. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. The feed to Oubre. Pass to Mark. It's over Melton. And it's Martin missing. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Pass to Concho. 
And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Offensive rebound for three. Williams, good on the triple. Zaire Williams has got the lead up to seven now for the Grizzlies. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. You got it! And a Dubre, the drive. A powerful finisher. Dubre Jr., you deserve to get tucked on when you let him get inside. Here's Adams. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and, and still have a good offense? Well, I, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter. Keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure on the defense. Here's Moran. Oh! Right there, Morant practicing for the dunk John contest. Morant. I see you, young fellow. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Ball with it. He's picked up by Morant. Oubre. Not going to go that time. And it's Memphis the other way. To the inside. Morant drives in. Beautiful John dish, and the layup goes down. And it's a seven-point Grizzly lead. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Drives to the hoop. And Ball slams it in. Oh, that sudden burst by Ball is so effective. Zipping in before the defense can react. Here's Moran. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. How many times? have we seen a possession like that from them today ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass well when you look at the assist total heck they've been clearly the better team Rogier, he's checked in for Kelly Oubre so Charlotte calls timeout they're first and if you're wondering if Jean Morant lacks for confidence well look no further than his point god moniker this kid is fearless and he's hungry and he plays with that proverbial chip on his shoulder. Trying to get open is Rozier. Good on that shot. And with that, the Memphis lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Plumley. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. That's his first foul. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Bain passes to Jackson. Now, here's Morant for three. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Morant's got ten points in the quarter. And, Greg, you talk about the fearlessness for Morant, reminiscent of Allen Iverson. The way he throws his body all around. I mean, get knocked down, get right back up. At the same time, at 6'3", he can add strength to that frame. I know that's the goal of his as he looks to absorb contact and dish out a little of his own. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. Hornets trail by nine. Now Rogier. Inside. Here's Plumley. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Memphis moving it around. Morant against Rogier. Passes it to Jackson. Just his first attempt. And it's Memphis Jaren with another. Jackson, oh, quick thinking from Jackson. When he's rising and firing fast, you know he's in the zone. Rozier with the ball. Driving the lane. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Morant. And finished off by Morant. And relentless in his attack. Morant is wearing down the defense. Putting up some huge numbers here tonight. 56 seconds left in the first half. Now, here's Rogier. 
defense is right there. Sinks the three-pointer. Bulls got five points now this quarter. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Now, here's Morant for three. The Hornets pull it in. Hayward outside. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Over the years, we've seen Hayward get stronger. He's packed on some muscle, and it helps him on these physical finishes. Outside for Jackson. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And it's Morant missing. Hornets trail by six. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Now, here's Morant for three. And he trains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And the teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. And the NBA replay center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. Yeah, that's how it looked to me. And that's the call we should see here. But no harm in going back to the footage and making absolutely certain. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replay's here, and it's here to stay. for Sid And that does it for the first half of play. Grizzlies lead by seven. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. was no stopping John Morant in the first half. He ended up with 28 points and two assists. And he wasn't himself in that last contest, but tonight he's really turned it around. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Memphis played? They built this lead from the perimeter. We know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play outside in. This is one of those games that's going on by the script. Impressive performance thus far. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Charlotte? The energy on D stood for disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game is still to play. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. Up of the forward spots, it's Hayward and Bridges. And it's Plumley in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's the Hornets' five. That athletic ability gets Bridges to the rim there. He almost uh, totally shrugged off the defense. They grabbed their own miss. Up top, Morant. He's covered by Ball. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And coming out of high school, John Morant said he was a no-star recruit. One reason he may have been overlooked was his small-town upbringing. Growing up in Dalzell, South Carolina. And even though he played on an AAU team with Zion Williams, you know, scouts, Greg, were looking right past John Morant. And you get a lot of offers at first. After two years at Murray State, he joined Steph Curry and Damian Lillard as another star point guard out of a mid-major program. And to this day, he carries that underdog chip on his shoulder. Here's Jackson. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And here's a guy that's not in coast mode. Jackson is going to give it all he has every minute 
He's on the floor. That's how he earns the and one. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. And here is Rozier. He has five. Hall with a wide open look. That's good. And it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got six assists now in the game. Morant against Ball. Now here's Morant. He's guarded closely. Brooks from outside. The Hornets pull it in. And here comes Hayward, leading the fast break. The pull up. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Morant. The six footer's good. Yeah, timeout, Morant. timeout. Morant's got 34 points. Boy, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Charlotte calls timeout. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. Boy, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Daniels, he's checked in for Plumlee. And Kelly Oubre is subbed in for Rogier. Memphis also making some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Jerry Jackson. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Bain. And Jones subbed in for Morant. Outside, Jones sinks the triple. Jones has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Oubre on the wing. He's guarded by Melton for three. Hayward, and there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That's foul number two for him. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. And some changes here for the Hornets. Washington's checked in for Miles Bridges. And Martin subbed in for Gordon Hayward. And the Grizzlies leading by 12. On the wing, Melton. Over Martin. And rebounded by McDaniel. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Steve and Adams, Adams with the slam. God, he threw that one down. Adams, one of the fiercest competitors in the league. Charlotte has gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. Brooks against Martin. Now the pass to ball. Shot from the wing. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. Here's Adams. Count it. Adams has got the lead up to 14 now for the Grizzlies. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Ball. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. He has still not missed a shot. Where would they be today without him? And the Grizzlies leading by 12. Jones from outside. No good on that one. Charlotte's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Oubre. Makes it off the glass. Holy crafty hit catch it in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. Kicks it out to Jones. Adams trying to free himself up. And it's Jones. That's time on the assist by Adams. Jones has got six points in the quarter. Ball against Jones. Tries from 10. That one's good, and the Grizzly lead is put down now to just 11 on the bucket from Ball. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of this game. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Charlotte calls timeout. And 
some changes here for the Hornets. Harrell comes in for McDaniels, and it's Rogier in for Martin. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Stephen Adams. Kyle Anderson comes in for Williams. Kunshaw is checked in for Brooks. And it's Bain in for DeAnthony Melton. From past the arc, Jones no luck. Hornets trail by 10. Over in the corner, Rozier. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Rozier's got 10 points in the game. Memphis has gone 2 of 5 with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Jones, the pass to Bain. Over Rozier. Bain, no good. Charlotte's gone to three-point range seven times tonight. Knocked down five of them. Here's Ball. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Ball's got 11 in the second half. Clark kicks to Anderson. Pass to Conshaw. Memphis moving that ball around. And the basket by Jones. You know, so far he's been dominant this period. Making the most of his opportunities. Jones. Ball, the pass to Washington. Another shot. Anderson with the block. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Right back after this break. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Anderson and Jackson inside. Then it's Morant. And it's Bain in at the two. Morant. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Here's Ball. Down low. And the basket by Rogier. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Morant outside. Six to shoot. Payton for three. Good and a nice That's assist from Morant. Bain. Morant's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Back to ball. Hayward outside. Pass to Rogier. And it's the Hornets, another three. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right here. Here's Morant. The kick out to Anderson. Shoots over Bridges. Anderson's shot is off. Hornets trail by seven. Rogier for three. And it's the Hornets, another three. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. You bet he has. I mean, working overtime. The triple's been his bread and butter in this ball game. Nothing but butter. Sweet butter. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Now, here's Rogier. Guarded close. Anderson with the block. And they're able to recover. That one's good. And the Grizzly lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Bridges. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And the Hornets making a change here. Lumley's checked in. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Anderson. And Brooks subbed in for Conshaw. And keeping us updated from the wow. sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Thanks, David. 
driving inside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Yeah, and it doesn't hurt to be on fire from behind. They have been really good from the three-point line. The drive by ball. Tries again. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, I love the way ball drives with such force and speed. It puts the defense in a tough situation, and he's excellent at drawing fouls. Ball hits them both. Boy, what a rookie season for LaMelo Ball. He was the third overall pick and saw immediate action for the Hornets. And in my mind, Kevin, I thought he was the clear rookie of the year front runner early. It's Morant with the drop. And then Morant slams it in. Just as quick as anyone in this league, Morant can seemingly get to the hole at will. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. And Ball slams it in. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does. Yeah, he really does put pressure on you. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this oh, offense, man. they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. And Ball began his rookie season coming off the bench. But eventually, they had to find a way to start. Yeah, clearly, Greg, he needed to be in the starting lineup. And he actually started until the wrist injury. He showed that he was an elite rookie. This team has a great future with him running the point guard spot. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Out to Brooks. The three. The shot misses. And the Hornets now going the other way. Feeds to Bridges. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And now just a four-point Grizzly lead. Here's Morant. Jackson trying to break free. And that one's good. Morant. Morant's got 48. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. They retain possession. Back to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. Well, I tell you, Bridges doing a nice job there. And his teammates appreciate when he looks to get them involved. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Led by as many as 14 points. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And it comes off the front of the rim. Charlotte has gone 7 of 10 shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. Bridges misses. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough yeah, catch on the line. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. A huge shot from Moran. Wow, you see why they put the ball in his hands in those situations. And the Hornets call time here. They're trailing by six. There's 38 seconds left in the game. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. John Morant. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Bridges finds ball out to the right wing. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. I do not know if there's a more confident family in the NBA. Ball wants the ball when it matters most. 32 seconds left in the fourth. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. 
ball against Morant. Out to Brooks. And stolen by Hayward. And it's all about the three right here. No doubt. I mean, the next shot has to be a three. Absolutely fearless is scary, Terry. Nothing holding this guy back in the big moments. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got to foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Oh, amazing to see someone go from unrecruited to potential MVP someday. That's been John Morant's trajectory. Charlotte calls timeout. They trail by three. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's your thoughts. And with this much time, they should be able to draw the play and get themselves a decent look from the three-point line. Still, the D is going to be waiting for it in a contested three. Never an easy shot. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. A really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's go over to David Aldrich from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody have the green light, so I mean, there's no, no reason.